<laughs> hey, you snuck up on me there. Hey, come on in now. Welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me. I'm the host of this video, Lord Sippy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Delridge. I'm here broadcasting live from beautiful West Seattle on the shores of the Longfellow Creek. Um, I picked out a little cocktail. Actually, I picked this cocktail out um, a number of weeks ago, and I never got around to making it. Um, I was waiting for the proper um, headdress. Um, fortunately, I did get a job. I'll, I'll let the uh, cat out of the bag on that one here in a couple of weeks. But I did get a job, so soon I'm going to have a little, a little pocket money. I could go to the store, get a moon pie, some... Uh, what were those things? What was the sticks called that were filled with the sweetened Kool-Aid stuff? Pixie sticks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some pixie sticks, and I'm going to get a, uh, a red vine, one of the big three three foot ones that they still make, though. They're probably about two and a half feet now because of, uh, you know, shrinkflation. This one, this cocktail this evening, I know I've, I've been kind of a little uh, infatuated with the uh, Savoy cocktail book as I easily am um, infatuated with more simpler things in life being a uh, more simple type of a person um, that I am. This one's called the Poo Bah. Mm -hmm. There's a, a young fellow that comes out to some of the rock and roll uh, sh shows. His name's Chris, and he does wear a uh, Poo Bah uh, top, top covering. If you are ever uh, happen to watch the uh, Flintstones when they uh, took a little trip down to the Water Buffalo Lodge for a little dancing and... Uh, libations and salutations this one's called the poobah pretty pretty simple it's going to be a stiff one though where are we at oh here we go going to be a stiff one though um because rum kingston 62 jamaican rum hendrix gin just a whisper a whisper of our uh, apricot liqueur here Actually, that's just going to get a couple of bar spoons and Swedish punch. Rails, her, her, her eyebrow is raising up. She knows exactly, exactly what's happening here. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get on into this. Um, well, thank you all for joining me. One of the most important people right now during the next eight or nine minutes of your day. Sit through. This is like anything. Anything you start, you know, the first couple of minutes, it might be a little rough. Just don't give up. Don't give up on me, baby. Just stick it out. Stick it out for the whole video. Helps me get into the algorithm, you know, get a few more subscribers, a few more views. You know, I get in the good graces of, um, you know, the people that I need to be in the good graces of. But we are up to, I wrote that down, 389 subscribers, though I do believe that it went up to 394 in my last um, my last check. I'll try to give a little shout out to all of our new subscribers. Um, still, a lot of lot of interest in the uh, old monk old monk rum from India. Fabulous, really, really fabulous. I wish that I knew every time what I could do that was going to just be the magical, the magic, the magic bullet, the uh, stake through uh, your heart, um, if if we will. Uh, so here we go. Simple, equal amounts of gin, Kingston uh, sixty two white rum from Jamaica. Swedish punch. Let me just make sure that, that that is right. Yep, yep, yep. Everything is equal. And then a couple of bar spoons of our homemade Swedish punch here. Let's just go ahead and get this done. I'm going to go upstairs and make a little dinner. We did have a couple of fabulous rock and roll shows last weekend. Played the makeshift uh, art space up there in Bellingham. That was fabulous. That's just a whisper, right? Oh, that's right. Oops, thank you. And then we played the uh, Bar House in Fremont, one of their uh, farewell shows to do in live music there. But Michael Freiberger and crew are going to keep on serving up delicious drinks like they do. I've got the two ounces of rum, or two ounces of our Hendrix gin. We're going to go two ounces of our uh, homemade Swedish punch that we keep down here in the refrigerator. I'm going to have to, I do have a little bit of pineapple vodka that I did way back here. Remember in the lockdown and everybody was locked down in their in their homes? I made a, a lot of infused drinks before I learned, before I, you know, got hit, before I started reading books and I knew what was really proper. None of this, uh, anything else. Um, a couple of bar spoons of our apricot. Our 
So there are quite a few different uh, cocktails that seem to have kind of the same base. There's one that we enjoy that is the uh, CFH. It's very, very similar to this, but it has uh, got a little Calvados, a little Swedish Pooch uh, gin, and some grenadine in there as well. One of our favorite, one of our favorite little go-to cocktails. Let's get this back up here. Let's just, let's just clean as we go here. Let's stretch this out. Let's prolong the agony here. I know it just seems like you're going to have to wait for another rock and roll show. Next one's not going to be till March 17th, I believe, at the uh, Lucky Liquor with our uh, fellas um, in Effluvia. And that's going to kind of lead us off before we go on a little, little, little trip down the trip down the coast here. La, da, da, da. The Poobah. One, one perceived as pompously self-important. Some people would say that that's me. That I'm, I'm, I look at myself as pompously self-important. And you know, sometimes I am. Because I know what I've done. Oh yeah, you can just tell by looking at that, can't you? <laughs> All right, Rail, would you care to join me? I guess if I have to, Zippy, I'm going to. A couple of these, and I think, you know, we start curling the expletives over who's most important in this relationship. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's strong. Not too, too bad. Yeah, the, uh, I think I put a little bit extra apricot than is, than is called for. And definitely the Swedish pooch, uh, tames that down a bit. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining me. Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Del Delridge. We're here at the Wicker Bar. It is happy hour at the Wicker Bar. This is the Pooh Bar. It can be found in the Savoy cocktail book or, you know, if you're if you happen to have a, a telephone or a uh, you know personal computer, you can just kind of get on there. They've got Google or Ask Jeeves and just type in the Poobah cocktail. It's gonna recipe is gonna come up for you. You can just kind of highlight it, Control C, put that over into your Word document, Control V, hit print, and it's gonna be printed out for you. It's perfect, you know, because us old people we like to have I like to have stuff on paper. It makes it more more, more important more important to me. Plus, I'm like a beaver. Just get up. I just get in there and get into that, that, that stuff that you get into. You gotta be. Anyway, um, thank you very much for joining me. I'm gonna bid you a fond farewell. I'm gonna go up and kind of throw a little, little something for dinner. I got a little chicken, a little acorn squash. Um, I'm gonna get that cooking video. Don't you worry. I'm gonna make that happen. Maybe next week. But don't worry. We're gonna. I'm gonna di divulge the phone number. Not today. Maybe next week, Ray Ellen, I have to. We have to cut the umbilical cord of the landline. It's so hard when you've had something for so long to, to let it go. You have to, sometimes you have to let the things you love, you have to let them go free. You have to let that, you know, you're not, not going to be able to find me in the phone book anymore and call directory assistance or anything. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. See you next time.